This is Ethiopia. Over 7,000 miles away and home to this, this, and this. We're staying in Addis, the capital. Heading out on a bus every day to visit orphanages, churches, children, and drink coffee. Lots of coffee. But we're here to celebrate cultural difference, promote empathy, and witness the work that God is doing in the hearts of his people. <laughs> These kids could be heirs to the throne. I don't know why this staircase is open, but... <laughs> While we're here in Ethiopia, one of our main goals is to partner with different organizations that are here in the area locally that deal with just all the children that are there. So not only are we going to be working with the orphans um, and interacting with them, playing with them, making them feel loved, and making them feel like they're royalty, we're going to be working with the staff working in the orphanages. On the second day, we went to an orphanage and had the privilege of playing with a bunch of them. <laughs> um, I'm here with Mikias right now. <laughs> 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 Do you find a lot of these kids that they dropped off by the gate or something? Uh, no, no. Actually, we get these children from the government. But the government will take the kids from the street and give them to you. Yeah. Actually, you cannot just directly take the children from the street. That's not allowed. See? Okay. Have a really nice time. Like this. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. So day two was a very confusing day, but it was definitely one of my favorite days. We somehow ended up at a day school. We went in there and everyone was so welcoming and kind. What are you doing? Washing our hands. <laughs> okay, that was uncalled for. And we just got to be able to be a part of the kids learning day and we got to feed them lunch. What's your name? Savannah. Yeah. Is it good? We are helping them eat their food and asking them questions and getting to know them. They're between four and eight. When we came back to the hotel, we actually had the awesome opportunity to get to meet two street children. Grant Herzberg, who was part of the trip, his grandmother came to Ethiopia years ago. Her husband got really sick during the trip and she was desperately looking for medical help. How long had you been living on the streets? Since I've been uh, 50 years old. So these two street kids saw her looking for help and went over and was able to direct her to a local doctor. And we just told her our story. They said, uh, Basically since then, Grant's grandmother has financially supported these two boys over the years. With her support, these kids were able to get off the street and graduate from travel school, now looking for jobs in the city. I feel like that really made a difference in your life. Can you guys talk about how that impacted you? She's the only one for our life, without out from her one. But These boys were able to use the little that she gave them to completely transform their lives. Yeah, let's go. Say something about Ethiopia. It's beautiful. The electricity stinks. The power went out about three times in our hotel. <laughs>
did a little church yes. service back this way. <laughs> and it was just, it was a really, really cool experience. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to learn more and get involved, check out Orphan Care Ethiopia and the next episode right here. Kings and Queens is not a photo book. All proceeds go to Orphan Care Ethiopia and you can order online in the description below. If you want to get personally involved in taking up the cause of the fatherless in Ethiopia, check out the link in the description for Hope for the Fatherless. It's an incredible nonprofit in Ethiopia that's doing amazing work with orphans.